Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Argentina, the country that is becoming more immigrant friendly towards the rest of the world than, than the great immigrant friendly country of America. Wait, wait, I was going to show you guys this map. Let's see, 2001, 1,553, yes, we are outproducing America by a lot. Mostly British people are moving to our country, so that mostly means to translate we have more Irish people coming. Which is good, because apparently we have a ton of Irish in our country. Like, Irish is technically like a second... is like a second people to us. Seriously, they, they make up a good amount of our country, which helps us out a lot. So anyways, people, we are a building up an economy. We are building up a lot of different stuff. Jacobs and Rebels, I hate you! So, what that means is now I have to support an army. I didn't want to do this yet. You guys just had to wait. A couple more months, and I probably would have decreased taxes. Man, you guys are idiots. Okay, what are they really clamoring for right now? Because I don't want to deal with this suffrage movement. Okay, that's where they're mostly getting that power from. There we go. Remove the suffrage unit. Okay. I don't want to deal with Jacobson rebels in my country yet. Because right now, they're costing me to go destroy them. Because they basically... There we go. See? And now we just need to go destroy that 3k army right there. Once that 3k army is dead, then I can officially relax and, you know, breathe easy. Okay. Now that 3k army is dead. Back to supporting not my military. And let's try to repay back all the rest of these loans. Like we were trying to do before the Jackson Rebels revolted. Like, seriously, country, just calm down. I am doing my best to keep our government and everything sane. And I'm doing a pretty good job. I really do think I am. So... I mean, we have less interest than we've had in a while, which is helping for the glory of Argentina! Yay! Alright, we got another colony gonna be supported. Huzzah! So now we got more people moving, we got more immigration, we got... Oh man, this is really awesome. Okay, and let's see. Let's see, how much more do we have left? 31,000, and then we basically own... We basically discounted everyone we owe, which is gonna be good. And then we can just relax for a little bit. Which is going to be nice, because I honestly do just want to relax for a little bit and not have to deal with lots of, like, problems. So, let's see. This has gone up very little since the last time we looked at it. So, I'm pretty sure it's not actually working. I'm pretty sure you have to be a well-established region before um, it, the immigration process works. So, let's see. Junkui, let's see. What does Junkui look like? Junkui actually doesn't need any more immigrationist let's see what region does need some immigrationists I really wish this region would have grown but it's just not big enough yet um this region might be able to grow but hmm we have a lot of we have a lot of factories that could be potential that's really good pay back 10% of our loans again that way we can get past another interest that means we can get even more money that means when we try to go back to just regular taxes and everything We'll have everything worked out. But luckily, we're now having more and more people join us, which is really, really awesome. And let's see. Actually, let's see. How many regions are still states? Let's see. Let's put some bureaucrats right there. Make that become a state instantly, so that if we do have a major population boost down there, you know, we don't have, like, problems. Again, this is all about problems, and we still have a massive amount of immigration people. That's good. Even with me not encouraging immigration as much, we still have massive amounts of immigration. Life rating, great. Oh, man. What, where do I sign up? The virtual, okay. Uh, no, I will make the liberals mad because I don't want to decrease my ROG outputs that much. And let's see, we are almost done with all of our, with all of our payments. We literally have one more payment, guys. One more payment and then we are done! Woohoo! And let's see, the desert of Argentina is slowly being conquered, so now we're starting to look like proper Argentina. Oh man, this is awesome! And we got fundamentalism coming up on the way, where we're gonna increase our literacy rate by even more. Oh man, we can start taking down a little bit more uh, technologies too. Uh, we have a good amount of clergymen right now, which is really good. Uh, we could. Probably stop encouraging clergymen, switch this over to bureaucrats. Uh, bureaucrats, bureaucrats. Okay, 
switch it over to bureaucrat so we can start getting the bureaucratic bonus because the bureaucratic bonus is really really small right now i won't be able to get the click bonus because the click bonus is way too high oh my goodness the click bonus is just way too high uh peru wants an alliance again i don't remember when we canceled our alliance chili oh wait we never had an alliance with peru that's probably why I don't remember having an alliance with Peru, is because we never had an alliance with Peru. Okay, but anyways, let's start working on our economy just a little bit. I'm just going to get some technological advancements like uh, mechanized mining. I believe mechanized mining will help us out a lot. Um, and after that, we could probably start going down impressionism again. Um, the release of Ireland! Oh my goodness, there's literally a state called Ireland now. So all those immigrants that we had in our country, oh my goodness, wow, it's a decent sized island too. So all those immigrants can now officially have somewhere to actually call home, because we now officially, because not only, because not only do our people have 15% of the population is Irish, we care about, I, I'm saying this in a very roundabout way, we basically care about Ireland, okay, that's what I was trying to say. We care about what happens in Ireland, and we're glad to see it became an independent nation, okay. That's what I was trying to say. It got... I didn't say it quite right. Uh, I can't assimilate. Mmm. The infamy is just way too much. 2% just way too much. Uh, outgoing at home. Let's speed this up. There are many immigrants. I don't have that many... I don't have many capitalists, so I don't care if I make them mad. Okay, and let's see. We finally got enough to repay back everything. Okay. And we can start more production, make that shoe factory happen, okay? And now what we're going to do is we're going to slowly but surely start increasing this back to uh, acceptable levels. 51% uh, is where I want it to be. I'm not going to quite increase my military yet, but I need to start increasing my other stuff first. Begin assimilation. Gosh dang it, it's too much infamy, especially for me, for my country, it's way too much. Oh, and apparently America took a couple parts of Mexico, so Mexico is going to have difficulties. But, you know, if Mexico can actually maintain control of California, I think it could honestly become a good-sized nation. I mean, not great size, but good size. Okay, we have a pretty good amount of, like, uh, stuff going on right now. So let's do that. Let's finish out this. Let's get this up to about 40%. Now we'll go to 50. I know this, is good. this probably will crash my economy, but... 50% all this let's go Wow my economy oh now it's starting to no is it can my economy support this is my economy gonna support this come on Oh, it's not gonna support this dang it okay so most likely what I'm going to have to do is decrease education and decrease administration efficiency uh 1% tariffs is good enough because it keeps all it keeps the really good factories alive but it also kills off the really bad factories which is what we kind of need to do. Um, and let's see, we have a lot more factories now open to us. Let's just support him. And a bronze steel factory. That's actually a really good idea. And let's see, we got our good infamy going. We got all of our factories being supported. That's good. A lot more people are starting to move into our country. Ah, oh, man, this is great. This is great. That means we have a lot more production that we can slowly start using. Now that I'm fifth in terms of industry I'm pretty sure I could do this without much difficulty that's gonna boost it up basically finish it out and now we got mechanized mining which basically gave us a big gigantic boost to everything let's see um what do we need right now hmm hmm spend metal variables would be nice but we don't necessarily need that this might be good just because it would help us with our economy, but then this would also be good because it helps with... It's a really advanced technology, and we need to kind of figure out... Hmm. There's a lot of stuff I want, people. That's basically what I'm thinking about. There's a lot of stuff I want. Uh, mechanized mining would be one of them, but experimental railroads. Experimental railroads could help us build an actual capitalistic nation. Which is kind of what, what, what we need. We need capitalists in our country. We don't have any capitalists in our country right now, which kind of does stink. But we have some capitalists in our country that could really help us out. And let's see. We're now at 50%. 4, 5. Round this out just because I like round numbers. There we go. And with experimental railroads, we could actually start building a capitalistic, you know, 
class, which is kind of what we need to do. Because we need to build that capitalistic dogs, man. Those capitalists. Because we need to keep our country very much up to date. Almost got that bonus. Got 1%. There we go. Steal. Oh no, you want me to help you do something. Chili, what do you want me to do? I can't refuse, so I have to go in anyways. But, at the very least, I know I'm at war with the mighty Brazilian Empire. What the heck did you just get me into? Oh my... Oh, I hate you so much right now, Peru. Did you literally just get me into a war? What were you fighting over? Oh my goodness. Can I get out of this war as soon as possible? <sighs> okay. Well, everyone, it seems like we're going to be fighting the... Um, just as we were just about to recover our economy. Um, we're going to be fighting our good friends of old, the Brazilians. It's going to be our first um, fight against them. And if I live to survive today, the region I would want to take from them is uh, this region right here. Not because it has a high population. I mean, it has a decent population. 73k is pretty good. But because, like... If I'm thinking about this empire-wise, I'm gonna get this region just because, um, just because, like, it goes into La Plata, so that's gonna be nice. And this region would be really nice to have just to, you know, kind of round out my borders. Let's see. So, I'm at war with Ecuador, but Peru's on my side. So, Peru can handle Ecuador. Um, Chile and me are going to have to team up. Costa Rica is gonna be absolutely no help. So, I guess we could win this. We just have to play it insanely smart. Because if we don't play it insanely smart, we could definitely die here and never come back. I mean, I'm not even joking. This could definitely be the last stage of this campaign. So, what we have to do is hope that they don't industrialize. Shoot. Um, well, not industrialize. I didn't mean that, but I mean, I hope they didn't actually, like, oh, this, this would be a nice cocoa beans factory. So, cocoa beans. So, we could, act, we could actually get some, like, coffee going over here. Some, like, Argentinian coffee. Okay, anyways, I'm thinking too much ahead. We still have to fight a war against the mighty Brazilian Empire. Which, basically what we're going to be relying on is the fact that we have a bigger, you know, we have more, you know, more um, spreading out powers. We're basically going to, basically what we're going to do is we're just going to wait until they combine all their army and, you know, do stupid things like that. And we're just going to go squish them up. Like, when they do something, like, if they do, like, if they spread their army, like, here, here, and here, we're gonna go attack those armies and just drive them from our land. And over here, I'm hoping that they can snatch up what they need as quickly as possible, because this is, this is really, 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 really scary. I mean, I don't even have, I don't even, I didn't even really specialize in military to really come up with good, like, tech for this. So, this is even more scary by that fact. I mean, I don't have military staff system, which could be a big difference in this war. So, we're going to try a little bit of... Ex we're just going to try to put some pressure on the Brazilians. We don't... Because we don't want them to entirely group up their men. That's definitely not what we want. If they start grouping up all their men, that basically means that... You know, we have difficulties. Also, I'm pretty sure our bonus is now achieved. Yes, we do have our bonus achieved. So, what we want to start encouraging in all of our... All of our places. Let me just just include these places. Just include these places. We need to start encouraging immigration again. So let's start encouraging immigration. Just in we need to start. We actually need to start bringing some of our lower end places up into the you know into the big boy town. I guess you should say into the big boy area, so we can start encouraging more people to immigrate. Let's see. They got the just deserves. All right, there we go. You guys group up. Oh my goodness, there's, there's a massive Brazilian army. I'm going to have to squish it. Squish it quickly. Squish this army quickly. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, no, don't. Don't move. Okay. We have a massive Brazilian army moving in from the, from the, from the top tier. We can't really do much about it. We're going to have to look for good supply limits. This can support 35 troops. Okay. So I can support this much more. I'm going to put you guys who are in the background right over here. Okay, we're going to play very defensively here. 
very defensively. Hopefully you guys can conquer all of Ecuador and gain the, you know, the war score. And while I keep the Empire of Brazil busy. Because of course I have to be the one who fights Brazil because all my other allies are going to do absolutely nothing. Alright, so. Let's see, how are you guys doing? You guys move over here, create kind of a temperamental army. Um, delete one soldier from the pack. Yeah, you guys go down here. Yeah, that one soldier should mean the difference between really good... Wait, wait, that's still... Is it still on Hunt Down Rebels? Yes, it is. Do not hunt down rebels. Keep... Okay. If, keep towards the mountains, but... Okay, let's see. If I remember correctly, this is in the Amazon Rainforest. Yes! So, Jungle gives us a 2.0 defense instantly. So, if I have the right commander in charge of this... A really, really defensive guy. Who's our the most defensive defense this guy's the most defensive probably overall uh, but he's really you know I really do like him even though he's really bad uh, that organization thing could kill me though this guy's really bad at attack but we wouldn't need a good attacker in this okay and I suffer some prestige loss that's not bad uh, Antonio Marchin Marchinin if we get there before these guys march 6, march 12, dang. Not gonna work. Let's see. Alright. Emino. Rebellious driven. His prestige. His prestige is really good. Um. Yeah, we don't. We don't want to. What we're going to do, since we don't want to attack the Brazilian army, that's definitely a big no no. What we're going to do is we're going to basically box them in, forcing, trying to force them to attack one of these two positions, hopefully this position, because I'll be able to hold out for a couple of days over here. It, Marsh gives me like 0.12 defense. I, if I had time, I would reverse these two positions because I'd love to be fighting over here. Wow, these are both terrible places to fight. Good, they took the bait. Let's see, they're going to arrive the 6th. This is going to arrive the 20th. Oh, it's, it's, give me a second. Do, 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 give us a second. There we go. Alright, let's see. The six. The first. Still need a little bit more dies. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. The battle should still be raging at this point. Let's see. Will they take the bait? No. Alright, we're going to take the bait. Let's see if we can beat them on just two to ah um, shoot this guy's really bad attacking retreat 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 yeah I just remember that like, this guy's really bad attacking all right retreat 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 no 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 it's going to be bad this is going to be a bad battle we might lose all of our men oh wait it didn't attack yes oh thank goodness thank you AI for not realizing I am weak oh thank you AI thank you okay so we just we just had the saving grace of the fact that AI didn't realize I was weak. Um, apparently they're not attacking anywhere of these other nations, which is actually good because then my people can go do stuff. Peru's obviously building itself up. Um, you were a terrible idea to use as attacker. You way better idea. Okay, Carmelo Wheelman, let's use you to go gather up you guys. Let's see, this is still in jungle. Why is it still in jungle? Let's see. Is this... Where does the jungle end? Like, I'm gonna have to know this so I can kind of fight. Okay, so this is where the jungle ends. There's absolutely no forts around here. Really no defense. Okay, so. When the time comes, this is where we want to attack them. Okay? So that's absolutely no defense. And great for us. We got better stuff going. We also need to get this right here so that we can make sure we have military hops, hospitals keeping our, you know, people in check. We got some stuff that we could do. Universal we could do right now. Probably not. I don't want to. Uh, Way to University, Free Press. Let's get Free Press just because it would help us out with expanding our political awareness. Okay. We don't want to suffer that much, um, you know, stuff to happen to us. Going to take out all the, you know, spawn men. Put the 15k right over here. Alright. And. Yeah. 
We're trying to make these guys attack us, but the problem is that they really don't want to attack us. But if they attack, if they attack Fort Falcon, okay, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.